Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here at Just Dolan with Dolan. We're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem 7, Reckonoken, Blazing Sword, whatever language you prefer here today. Uh, we are on chapter 14, False Friends. Last time we rescued this dretch named Merlinus and we're going to be giving him our shit to carry from now on and that's pretty cool. We lost a hand axe, an iron axe, and a vulnerary last chapter as far as I'm concerned. And I'm just happy that we're going to be moving on from that. <laughs> so, if, if you guys are hyped for this video, make sure to smash that like button and maybe subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Here we go. <clears throat> A droll merchant named Merlinus now joins Elowood's group. With Merlinus in tow, they set out for Laos the following day. Laos is located in the heart of Lycia, a territory ruled by the power-hungry Marquess of Laos, Lord Darren. Preparations for the war, of which the Pharaean magistrate spoke. The disappearance of Elowood's father, Albert. The death of Marquess Santa Rose. Do these all revolve around Lord Darren? In Elowood's heart, the need for truth is drowned in fear. A fear of what that truth may hold. Ah! Uh, I'm looking forward to this chapter, you guys. I'm looking forward to next chapter as well. Damn. All the following- the next, like, five or six chapters are great. I, I'm- I'm- I can't wait. <clears throat> Are you certain Faray's heir is here? Yes, father. We've just received word from our lookouts. He's still be on that hill, but he'll be here before long. I don't know why I chose that voice. I regret it already. Lord Ephidel, what is the meaning of this? Oh god, it's his voice too. <laughs> Perhaps when they reached Santorin's castle, Lord Elman was still clinging to life. You can't be serious. He couldn't have lasted too long, but... Maybe he told them something. That's terrible. Our plan. It's all for naught, then, isn't it? No need to be so alarmed, my lord. Even if he told young Elowin's long of our schemes, Ray no longer has any power. All Elowin could do is perhaps inform Mark as Ostia. Ostia? That would be ruinous. Lord Uther may be young and new to the throne, but he's dangerous. That adult-pated Hellman, he was a coward at to the end. To betray us now when we're so close. We only need a little more time to complete our plans for the rebellion. Then Marcus Ostia, then before Marcus Ostia becomes aware of any of this, you would do well to stop them here. Yes, you're right, of course. We do have a chance. They have to pass through Laos to get to Ostia. You have to be pretty dumb not to realize that if you're the fucking leader. Come on. <laughs> we could still silence them. Or the Marquess. Whatever. I don't know what fucking powers the a Marquess has, but come on. They must not pass, no matter the cost. Let us make haste. Call up our finest troops. Father, please. Let me take the command. Eric, tell me, son, can you succeed? That Claude Ellawood. <laughs> Claude! That Claude Ellawood and I study together in Ostia. He's a trusting fool if he sees me a Laura's guard. And when he does, we strike. I see. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Is this too much for him? If by strange chance he fell, things could turn for the worse. No, I know I'm the lad's father, but Eric's quite clever, I tell you. Snuffing for his whelp will be no trouble at all. It's settled. It's up to you now, Eric. Bring me the head of Ferre's darling son. Yes, father, I'll not fail you. I'm glad I don't have to do that voice for another few minutes. <laughs> Look around. They truly are preparing for a battle. Bah! My Kesselaus, what is he scheming? You don't much look like you want to go to the castle. If we go and learn the truth, we may have to go to war. That's fine with me. 
I... I've no love for war. If I concentrate on the foe before me, I'm fine. If I picture families, innocents caught up in our foolish politics, if I imagine them, all I could do is pray for a way to solve things peacefully. Elwood, stop crying like a bitch. Lord Elliewood, a knight has ridden forth from the castle. A lone knight? Yes, my lord. Our scouts say it's Marquess Laus's son, Eric. He is asking to see you. Eric? Gah, why did it have to be that buffoon? I'll see him. Bring him here. I'm leaving. I never could abide him. I'll go for a ride and survey our surroundings. Never mind, I have to voice him immediately. Hold on, I need water. Hello. It's been a long time, Hellawood. Eric, what is your business? My business? What do you mean? I heard my little friend was here in the house. I merely thought I'd run out to greet you. So tell me, friend, what brings you to Laos? Are you on your way to Ostia? Hmm? Why would you think that? Well, you were always such good friends with Hector. He and I never got along very well. For noble, his behavior was crude in his manner of speech. You would have thought him a peasant on first glance. You're still friends with Hector, aren't you? When did you see him last? How did you communicate? Eric, you're after something right now. What is it? Pardon? Everywhere I look, Laos prepares for battle. What are you and your father planning? I will know the truth. Hmm. I'd hoped to wait until you told me of Ostia. But I'm just gonna give you my plan and tell you what I'm doing. What are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> Hello, what? I have always despised you. Now I've longed to smash you and your pathetic morality into pieces. I've dreamed of this day, and here it is at last. I'm like, slowly merging Effidel and Lowen's voices together, and I can't help it. <laughs> Too bad you'll not live to see the end of it. Hector. Hey, you, Hector. You couldn't. Have you spoken a lot of already? Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Elowood, this Mongol has troops lying in ambush all around us. Laos regulars, every one. We're in for a rough time. <laughs> this little boy is fighting a trap. My father's about to rob you. And I'm not to let him say it. That was a little bit to her, though. How long do you think it's right there? Craven Kerr. Yeah, I just went full low and I was getting sick of it. <laughs> He's not a believable villain, his character. <laughs> Lord Elliwood, Lord Actor, I make my living as a humble merchant. If you have any items you no longer need, please let poor Melanis take them. Oh, I will. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So, brief overview of what we're doing. Um, uh, I do believe, yeah, defeat enemy is our goal. We have to kill all of the enemies. Um... So we don't have to like seize that or anything. There's a village down here, and there's a vendor and an armory, which is nice. Um, we definitely want to visit this village. That's a top priority of ours, this chapter. This village is nice to hit, but there's something else up here that appears in a minute, and you'll see what it is, uh, that we want to get even more than the village. But we want to get this village, and we want to get the secret thing that I'm being secretive about. Ha <laughs> ha Up there. Maybe buy some things from the shop if we need it. I don't know. I'll have to go over things off screen here in a minute. But, uh... So, on this chapter, we have Eric to deal with. And he's a level 14 Cavalier with pretty, you know, not fantastic stats. But the problem... Is the Horse Slayer. Look at this thing. Seven might. And it does effective damage against Cavalry. So, that means, like... Lowen and Marcus, right? So we need to challenge him with, like, Oswin, or maybe Hector. Elowood can deal effective damage, but he's also out-triangled by the motherfucker, so, like, 
probably Oswin, to be honest. Oswin's the one who I most likely want to fight him. Um, I don't know... Does he have anything else? Does he have anyone else? Um, vulnerary on this guy. Vulnerary on that guy near him. Vulnerary on that knight down there. No, that's it. Okay. Uh, we have vulnerarys, so that's not really a big priority. There's people coming from the back, which is a little bit problematic, but like at the same time, not really. Um, I think ultimately this chapter should be a little bit of a breeze. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Should, we should be fine. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do some inventory management. And I'll be right back. And we're back. And we're ready to start. Lord Elliwood, shall I join you? If you deploy my tent, I can help you with equipment. I could switch items for you and hold them in if your packs are full. However, my tent cannot be moved about. So if you deploy it, it will require a guard. I beg your understanding. Uh, Merlinus's merchant tent can be deployed on this map. If you deploy the tent, any items you carry can be sent to the tent. However, the tent is vulnerable to enemy attack. If the tent loses all its HP, it'll vanish from the map and remain unavailable until the next map. Merlinus's tent gains one level for every battle it survives. The tent will be harder to destroy as it increases in level. Deploy Merlinus? Of course. There are shops here. Mmm, feels so good to not waste stuff when we have to throw it out of our inventory. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> Dolan, let me take the point. There may be many of them, but numbers are meaningless. We are knights of Foray. These mice of Laos will never defeat us. Hmm. We certainly could stand some assistance. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. If we disobey Marquess Laos, who knows what might happen to us? I understand. We'll seek our aid elsewhere. You'll find the same answer everywhere you go. Eventually, you'll have to do as the Marquess orders. You would do well to tell your employer the same thing. Hmm. Good day to you. As you can see, we got Urk. And Urk was doing okay during the Lin story mode, I think. We got him almost to level 6, which is a lot better than the level 1 Urk that you get, I believe, if you just skip Lin's mode. Uh, in order to recruit him, we're going to have to talk to him with... I'll give you a second to guess. Do, 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 Sarah. It's Sarah. It's Sarah. Uh, you, you would have to talk to him with Sarah. Um, anyway. Let's get this chapter started with a bang, shall we? Come on, Rebecca. Flit, flit. Shoot those arrows at your bow. Rebecca can one round a soldier now. That's awesome. All right, I'm just gonna move Sarah in because we've got to get her to talk to Urk as quickly as we really can. And I want to move Marcus in because if Urk goes over here and tries to draw a grow, fuck that shit. Marcus is rescuing him and getting away. Uh, Urk is a green unit. I, and this might actually be our first map with green units. Wow. So, normally there's the player phase, and then there's the enemy phase. And if you have green units on the field, they take their turn after the enemy phase, if I remember correctly. So, blue, red, green, and they're like a neutral party. We could totally not recruit Urk. We could let Urk die. There's a lot of ways that we could go about that. But, uh, I mean, I like him. He's cool. I want to get him. And so I'm going to try to. Uh, where can Elwood move to? About there. Alright. Get Hector out. Move you that way. Um. Alright, we'll have Dorcas take care of this guy. I don't want them like. F oh my god, you missed on a 90, Dorcas! All right, they can't reach the tent anyway. Let's go ahead and trade with Dorcas, make him get that steel axe in the front so we don't waste the hand axe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attack this douchebag with the javelin since Dorcas fucking missed. Or not the javelin, but the iron lance. The iron lance, the iron lance. All right. 
So that should prevent them from getting to the tent. Um, one, two, three, four, five, they can move. So I want Matthew to be like, here? Yeah. I'm gonna keep Matthew here because I remember, see these forts? Um, pirates are gonna spawn and they're gonna run up here and they're gonna try to kill Merlinus. So I want Matthew to hang back. He can deal with pirates really easily, especially, whoops, especially given the fact that he's already level eight. <laughs> he's got good stats to deal with pirates, I'll tell you that. Pirates are not very good. Um, we're gonna get, I wanna get Oswald moving like this way. I wanna split, after Lowen helps Dorcas with this first round, ideally, I'd like him to go meet up with Oswin and Guy. They're gonna go make sure that that village to the south is safe. Saving a use on that steel axe, Dorcas. Nice, good job. And one more soldier coming after Dorcas. Dorcas took a good amount of damage. <laughs> oh, Dorcas, you suck. You let soldiers deal that much damage to you. All right, so only axe the uh, the brigands, the axe users, can really destroy villages. So. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, I hope. Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? <laughs> no, he left yesterday in search of a way out of here. I just hope the soldiers of Laos haven't captured him. His search for help must have been fruitless. Marquess Laos has ordered that no aid be given to you. There's really nothing that any of us can do. I apologize, but... No, no. You could turn me over to the Marquess, and yet you continue to grant me asylum. Asylum. Wow. Asylum. Nailed it. I'm grateful for that. Of course, if I simply went to the castle, this would all be over. Don't fret over that. None of us are overly fond of the Marquess. He's always threatening us. He th treats us like slaves. All these war preparations? We want nothing to do with them. We may be divided into territories, but we're Elysians one and all. I almost read that as a one for Adu. We may be invaded by another country one day, but why does he want to start a war here at home? None of us understand what he's doing. All right. Little insight into what's going on over here. Um, Dorcas. Dorcas. I want to avoid... <sighs> I want to avoid wasting vulneraries if I can. Aw, oh, dude. There aren't even brigands yet. That's good. Um... I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just do that. Can Rebecca? No. No. Damn. Damn. Um, alright. Can Rebecca, like... Oh, she just barely can't, really? How much damage can Rebecca do to this archer? Mmm. Uh, I bet Guy could just slice this archer up pretty good. Yeah, well, let's do it, Guy. I don't want to waste the killing on this. So I'm just going to pick her with Rebecca now. Then I'll try to throw Hector at the soldiers, because he's a good meat shield. He's got that high defense and the good strength and versatility with the axe. Nice! Strength went up! Mm, fuck yes, Rebecca! Good shit. I'm so excited about that. I was really starting to get worried. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move Eloa down a little bit. And I'm gonna do one of these. Yep, you can't even deal damage to Hector. Good, good decision making, Dylan. Good decision making. Miss. Oh! Get styled on! Get styled on! Good shit. Good shit. Alright, and that guy, I don't want him... I don't want him to get to Guy. 
so I'm gonna just move there. Um. Yeah, I'll just move Sarah here. All right, all right, moving on. We're moving on. Moving on up. Shit. <laughs> I blocked the guy who could fight back and not the person who couldn't. Good job, Dylan. I don't know if that was even an option for me, but like, really, Dylan? Come on. All right. Okay, there's a slew of Cavaliers over there now. And what's this? Looks like a war's broken out. Ah ha ha ha! Perfect, time for a raid. Up and at him, mates. That village is ripe for plunder. Yep, here's the beginning of the pirate invasion. Great. Shit. Um, alright. I have, I have a few turns. I have a few turns. Um, I'm going to drop Urk there. And I'm going to wait, and I'm going to move up here and talk. Like, oh my gosh, it's Eric. It's been so long. What are you doing here? Oh, Sarah. You're the last person I wanted to see. Oh, that's so sweet. You wanted to see me again. Hey, I know. This is perfect. Come with us and lend a hand, Eric. I beg your pardon. Come on. Like, I'll even introduce you to Lord Hector and Elliewood. I know you. You're probably just wandering around with no work. No, Sarah. I'm afraid I'm gainfully employed. However, if you're fighting Laos, this might work out after all. What are you babbling about? Make up your mind, will you? My employer is hiding in a village south of here. If you'll help me protect her, I'll join up with you. Like, oh my gosh, of course. I'll help you if you help us. Erk's already helping. Oh, come on! We've been waiting so many chapters and you didn't even get the ding. Damn it. All right. Well. I'm gonna move Rebecca around. We're gonna get this double tap. Here we go. All right. Double tap. Double tap Rebecca. Good shit, Rooney. Um, yeah, I want to get low and moving. I want to get him moving. <sighs> Actually, if that guy's going to come up around the shore, Matthew has a pretty good move. He has six move because he's a thief. He'd be able to get back around there if they start coming out of the other ones. He'll be fine. I I'd like to move the entire the entire cavalry out, really. Um, Alright, as long as I don't move past the double forest, I'll be fine. This guy can move as far as two below Oswin. You know, I'm gonna just put Hector here with the bail. <laughs> see what happens. And see what happens. And I'm gonna put Elowood there for the support bonus that it gives and start moving these guys south. Alright, enemy phase, let's go. I gave Marcus the, Marcus the Steel Sword hoping the weight would make him double tap less often. I say that and he does it. Fuck. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I want to get that village. It's it's worth it. It's worth it so I can get the village. It's worth it. I'm using my Jagan. Using my Jagan. Good job, Marcus. Good job. Get that 4 XP. Yep. Mmm, doesn't hurt my soul even a bit. Alright. Oh my god, Hector. Didn't even take the hit. That would have done nothing. Slaughtered. They're impaling themselves upon you. All right, that's one more. I'm probably not going to use the bail anymore this chapter. I feel like I'm overusing it a little bit. I, I, I probably am. But you know what? It's fine because, honestly, I mean, what do they give it to you for if you're not going to use it, right? So. Okay, good. Matthew can reach this guy. I'm gonna go for it since his hit is so low. All right, good job, Matthew. I'm glad I didn't have to regret what I just said. <laughs> All right, can guy? No, guy can't get out. All right, so just gonna put you there. The pirate won't be able to go after you. 
Um, I'm, I'm actually, guy, you served your purpose on that one archer. I'm gonna reroute you so that you can help Dorcas if the need arises. Um, all right. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's do this. You're battling Eric and his men, right? Let me tell you, I'm on your side. My granddaughter, Marquez Laos, took her away. He found her pretty and forced her to the castle. It's not much, but please take this. It's a large sword, so you have to be strong to use it. It's a bit unwieldy, but it is a mighty weapon nonetheless. I hope you can defeat the Marquez's son, Eric. It would make our lives more pleasant. Good luck to you. You got an iron blade. I did get an iron blade. It's just my blade. All right, so that's a nine might 70 hit sword. It weighs 12, so you need a pretty high constitution to even it out. And since sword wielders typically don't really have that high of a constitution value, seven, wait, what is that, four, five, five? <laughs> seven, yeah. We don't exactly have a character that could properly use that yet. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move Sarah down here to heal Rebecca. Good stuff. Move Rebecca to that bush. Move Urk down there. All right. <laughs> That's in his, like, blind spot, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so... I'll do that, and I'll just put Hector here... Whoops. I'll put Hector here, and I'll equip the iron. I don't want to waste any more uses on the bail quite yet. Um... What's that guy's new routing? Uh... I want to put Lowen, like, here. Yeah. Because I want him to be close so he can help, but I don't want him to be able to, like... T I don't want him to, like, take the hit. Blast! This is why the best of us! To the castle! I want all the reinforcements available! I want them now! <laughs> Lord Eric is struggling. He requests reinforcements. What? Ready the men! Unbelievable! These numbers cannot stop them! Effidel, wh where are you going? It seems that conquering Lizia might have been too much for ask of you after all. I'm just inform my master! A black fang will be leaving at once. No! You you can't abandon us, not at this stage. Who was it that said Ostia mustn't learn of our plans? Wasn't it you, Lord Darren, the Marcus of Laos himself? Y yes, it was. There's no turning back for me, not now. Papa, please, one more, give me one more chance. I assure you I will not disappoint Lord Nurgle. Very well. Assemble your men, we will regroup elsewhere. Uh, you can't mean... My son, my home. Am I to abandon them? Would you fall in disgrace along with your son? Master Lord Nurgle is offering you the throne of Elysia. Surely if you sacrifice that much to ask. Yes, you're right. My destiny is greater than this. I was born to be the king of Lysia. And as for an heir, you're still young, my lord, you'll have time. You must not let a moment set the mentality call into judgment. Where are my reinforcements? Why have they come? I have no choice, I must attack. You, to the castle, find where I'm at. Yes, my lord. I'm like really sick of <laughs> voicing Eric already. <laughs> it's actually kind of bad. <laughs> I'm glad Matthew is so strong he could dispatch, dispatch the pirates without them, like... Sometimes, if you can't kill them right away, they start running and they just start trying to heal at the forts in the ocean. And you don't have units yet that can cross it, so you have to wait until they heal up and come back and it's just a fucking bother. Oh, and there's the rain. I forgot this chapter had rain. Damn it. Um... Alright, well. I'll just leave you here, <laughs> I guess. Alright. Uh. Alright. 
Let's see. This guy's at five. Okay, I'll body him with Ella Wood. There we go. Good job, Ella Wood. Good job, Ella Wood. Oh, and we got a hot level. Well, let's, let's see what we get. Level eight. Yes, strength one. Oh my God, what a good level, Ellie Wood. Nice. Nice. All right, I'll take it. Um. All right, let's see what the enemy's gonna throw at us now. He's gonna miss. Matthew's gonna deal 16. Next turn, I'm gonna kill him. Matthew is so good. Matthew is so good when you use him correctly. Oh god, the pirates are moving back. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess Guy's gonna be the one to handle them. <laughs> I, uh, I'll move Dorcas down to help him, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Matthew dispatches that guy, and Matthew gets a level up. Woo! Alright, let's see, what do we get? Strength? Defense, though. <laughs> Tanky Matthew. Matthew has higher defense than almost everybody. The only people with higher defense than Matthew are the actual tanks. That's hilarious. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, that pirate can attack Matthew then. That's good. Um, can you get there? Yeah, you can. You can. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I'm gonna do this act. Actually, no. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. I fucked that up. I didn't. I thought Lowen could like, or I thought I for some reason I thought I could pick up and then drop with just him. I don't know why. Uh, it didn't really matter. It just means that Elwood is a little closer. If I'm being honest, so it doesn't. It doesn't ultimately matter. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Marcus, so that he stopped off. That would be good. I think he's the only one that needs topping off. No, Dorcas needs topping off. I might reroute Sarah, bring her down there. We're about to get another healer in a minute. Spoiler alert! Gonna bring... Oops, gonna bring Urk down a little bit. God damn, Hector. He's so good. He just bodied a knight with an iron axe. You took the hit in everything. <laughs> All right. Matthew is going to deliver the killing blows to this guy on the next round, which is great. I'm going to circle him around, get him closer to the tent. We're going to bring him back to Merlinus soon. <sighs> Alright. Can the weather go away, please? Guess the weather can't go away. Alright, good job, Matthew. That guy's gone. Um... Bring you back. You know what? That'll get Sarah there quicker. So why not, right? All right, so. We're gonna want to buy one of these for Urk, and then another one for later. We'll send him Merlinus. Um, I want to get another heal. Let's see. I'll take that for now. Yeah. Okay. And the next. Yeah. I got. I'll. I'll do it. I'll fail all on the next turn. I got it. You guys will see what I do. I make a lot of sense. It'll make a lot of sense, and it'll make a lot of sense. Okay, thank Christ, the weather is gone. All right, so I'm gonna move Matthew up here so that all the pirates are kind of forced really to go this way. No one can walk on the cliff, so I'm gonna get you here. I wanna get you like here. And I'm gonna put you there. All right, that'll be good. So they're 
they're collecting. They're they're figuring out their shit. Um, vendor. Okay, you're gonna buy a heal. Oops. So you're holding a heal. You're holding a fire. You're gonna give the fire to Urk so that he has it, and I'm gonna move Rebecca down here. She has room for two extra vulnerabilities, right? I'm just gonna buy them now. Because that'll be useful. Urk doesn't have one. I don't know if this next person is gonna have one either. I'm gonna go ahead and move Hector down there to Recruiter, and move Elowood up here to go to the Armory. Alright. So wait, what do I have in my inventory for Elowood? I have an Iron Sword and a Rapier. Alright, let's get... An iron sword, an iron lance, an iron axe, um, an extra iron bow for next chapter. We'll just start with one. Let's buy an extra iron axe for Hector for later. And we'll buy a couple iron lances because we're gonna fucking need them soon. I'll buy three. I'll buy one more iron sword for later. Uh, one more iron sword for later, and another iron axe. We'll need it eventually. And then, whoops, and another iron lance because I want to spend my money, and that should be good. <laughs> that's a lot of money I just spent, but that's fine. They're all coming. Ooh, they're fanning out. Ooh, they're shooting Elowood. That sucks. Oh, he dodged it. Didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. It didn't matter. Didn't even matter. It didn't matter. Again? Are you another messenger from the Marquess? Please, do not waste your time. I will not change my decision. Pardon? Marquess Laos did not send you? I, I beg your forgiveness. It was my mistake. Say, if it's not too much trouble, might I leave with you? I'm on a journey. Marquette's Laos is barring my way and I'm trapped. I'm trained in the use of staves. Please help me. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and... Trade this heal staff over to you. Oh, you start with a vulnerary. Okay, that's fine. I just have another one then. Extra, it doesn't matter. Um, mmm, mmm, mmm. One, two, three, four, five. That guy can't even reach me. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Iron Lance equipped and I'm gonna wait. Yep. This guy will be able to reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he'll reach Hector too. He's got a Lance, right? Yeah, okay, we're fine then. You're wearing, yeah, yeah. Can I, whoops, no, I wanna use the heal. Oh, by the way, so the heal, I don't know if I said the calc before, but it's 10 plus magic. That's how much you get healed. Uh, the mend is 20 plus magic, so that's why I don't want to waste it. It's very good. Oops, I don't want to trade. I want to use the staff. Give me a heal. Give me a heal. So Priscilla is a healer, obviously, uh, as we found out just now. Unlike Sarah, who can only move a few spaces and has a low magic, Priscilla can move a lot further and has six magic at level three. Six magic at level three, you say? It's almost like Sarah just got six magic at level eight. That, that is what happened, I think. So, Priscilla's arguably the better unit, but Sarah has like better luck. And then she, when she, uh, when Sarah class upgrades, she becomes a bishop and she gains the use of light magic tomes and she, her speed, oh my God, she's like, she's actually pretty good. Like if we're being honest, she has high luck. So that's awesome. Um, Priscilla, when she levels, when she class upgrades, she gets the use of uh, fire, to, like enema magic, like fire thunder, like Urk. And she, her speed isn't enormous, but she has good res. She has like a good like mixture of stats. Like she's a pretty good unit. Uh, I really like Priscilla. I don't, I don't want to. I, I want to make sure that we do Priscilla justice and use her well. Also, can I double? Yeah, I wanted to waste that iron bow usage and get the thing out of my inventory, but I'll do it later. Right now, I'm gonna fucking pierce this guy as many times as is necessary before Elowood comes in to finish the job with an iron sword. Yes! Exact damage! I didn't even calc that shit. 
I was determined. I was like, eh, if it doesn't work, I'll just use a rapier. <laughs> Didn't even have to do that. Ooh, Oswin, Oswin, Oswin. Oh my god, Erk can do it. Alright, so... Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Does he have a javelin or anything? No. I guess he wouldn't reach Arc if I did it from here. I could heal Arc on the next turn. It won't matter. Let's do this. Where that gets Priscilla more EXP anyway. And I could still draw that guy using Oswin by moving Oswin between the two. And Arc gets that level up. Magic up, skill up, speed up, res up. Fucking nice. Good level, Urk. Nice. Weapon level increase. Nice. Urk, coming through. All right, I'm going to put Oswin right here with the Steel Lance. Um. Um. Going to move Sarah up here and heal Dorcas. Dorcas gets healed. That should be everything, right? Yeah, okay. I figured Sarah could probably top him off. All right. That's good. Uh, let's get Matthew up and around. Up and around town. Only one can attack guy. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna move Dorcas here. I want him to just be like another shield so they can't sneak through. Because this is a three tile wide area. I'm gonna have Guy here, Matthew here, Dorcas here. to be Just to be a barrier so they can't get to Merlin. I'm gonna keep Sarah in to heal him up. I'm gonna actually bring Dorcas around because he might be helpful over here now. Um, I mean, he's, it won't be helpful against this, I'll fucking tell you that much, but you never know, you never know, you never know. Uh, who haven't I moved? Guy. Alright. Oh yeah, I didn't actually... Alright, hold on. On the next turn, I should, uh, look at Merlin's stats and talk about it, since I didn't... Sorry about that, guys. Alright, and dodge. Nope, no dodge. Doesn't matter, Sarah's here. Guy's gonna slice and dice. Guy gets that hot level up. Speed lock. Damn it, guy. I don't think I'm using guy. I don't think I'm using guy. Alright. Is everyone going to start moving? Or am I just going to deal with like the last wave or so and then move in on the boss? Could go either way, really. Could go any way, really. Go anyway, really. All right, so I'm gonna use guy still. I wanna, I wanna at least try to give him a little XP. Maybe he'll get a all rounder next level, make up for the loss. Anyway, Merlinus, right? Before I forget, so Merlinus, he's got 18 HP, which is cool. He starts at level five, and as I said before, he gains a level every time a chapter ends where he's alive. Um, enemies will go and attack Merlinus since he obviously can't fight back. He has that high ass con, but he can't be. That's because he can't be rescued. Um, his aid is huge, but he can't rescue anyone. So his strength is basically nothing. He sucks. He'll get like the same shit Nils will get, like the occasional defensive bonuses. He'll always get some HP up, like luck maybe, uh, to help him like his survivability and whatever. But that's about it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and top guy off since he got hit. Sarah's gonna level up. We're gonna get magic. Nope, we're not gonna get magic. We're gonna get HP and speed. That's why Priscilla's better. That right there. Sarah gets magic screwed way too easily. All right, I'm just gonna keep that equipped. Uh, he's just gonna be a barrier. Uh, I want Marcus to get over here, just in case. Um. Yeah, I'll just fucking bap. <laughs> Get bapped. Good shit, Hector. Oh, nice. You leveled up, too. Nice. Strength. Eh, you got skill. All right, I'll make you hit more often. That's good. We're going to move in with the iron. Yeah, that guy can't do shit to Lowen. Good. Get dodged. Get dodged, Brigand. Get dodged. I don't know if any of you have, who have played this game have seen the Brigand's crit animation because it happens so infrequently. It's so funny. His mouth opens like a dark portal to another dimension. 
he screams, and then he like beats his chest, I think, and then jumps. It's crazy. Future Dylan like put a picture of the the brigand crit on screen for the lols. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Urk is the one who got hit. Urk is the one who got hit. Um. Okay, it's okay if I move Oswin like here, so I'm going to uh, do that. Uh, you'll, yeah, I want to do one of these. Kill with Urk. Urk is technically a little behind the units that I've been using more frequently on this team now, since he's only level six. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Uh, these two could both reach there if I put Elowood there. But these two can't. So I'm going to put Elowood here with the iron equipped and go ahead and move Rebecca up to help him out in a minute and I'm going to move Priscilla over here. Oh, I could talk. I'll do that next turn. If I don't need to heal, I'll do it next turn. But I'm going to heal him up first because that's more important, folks. Going to get that heal. Going to get that heal. My mouse has been on the screen for too long. Alright, we're gonna kill this guy with Elowood. They don't want to go after Oswin, because they probably can't deal damage even with the triangle to him. <laughs> and if they can, it's really, like, a lot less. Ooh, guy! Alright. Fucking flashy bastard over here. Flashy motherfucker over here. Alright, I'm glad I put Elowood there, damn. He's gonna get that XP. Good job, Elowoodoo. Elowoodoo, Elowoodoo. Lowen's gonna get that. I really don't want Lowen to face the fucking- face fucking Eric. Oh my god, that would be such a bad idea. I didn't even check if Lowen can- if Eric can reach where Lowen is. Fuck! Hold on. Oh no, there's no way. There's like forest blocking it. Alright, no, we're good. We're good. We're fine. <laughs> I'm just glad Dorcas didn't get outsped. I mean, he's wielding a fucking steel axe. Alright, so... Oh, that guy moved over. What a fucking guy this guy is. Oh no. Can Matthew get the... No, he can't. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Alright. What a sneaky bastard. I didn't even notice him doing that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't even notice. I just noticed just now that he was doing that. Get out of here. Get out of here, you sneaky pirate bitch. Alright. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for it. Good shit, Dorcas. Got that level up. I can't believe I'm still utilizing Dorcas. I mean, strength? He got skill. He got skill. He fucking needs to get more skill, and then maybe he might be useful. So. Good. Proving yourself, you mutton eating fool. You're proving yourself. Alright. So, topping you off, I gotta heal Matthew. Oh my god, Matthew has the most health in the whole party. No, he doesn't. Dorcas does. And then Marcus and Matthew are tied. Marcus and Matthew are tied on HP right now. What is going on? All right, so... I want to move Hector. With the bail equipped. I'm going, I said I didn't want to, but I, I'm doing it now. Uh, right. I, yeah, I can't do it with only one. Why do I keep thinking that today? What is wrong with me? Um. Oh, well. Uh, that increases luck. I don't want to use that on you. I'm going to move Priscilla around and talk to Urk. I want to, like, move everyone around. I want Hector to take them out in the forest there. It's just a good spot to do it. Lady Priscilla, I'm glad to see you well. Erk, have you joined Lord Elowood's company as well? Yes. 
Traveling with them seems to be the safest way for us to continue your search for your family. Eric! Oh, my apologies. This isn't the place to discuss such things. I'm sorry, but... Lady Priscilla, my teacher entrusted you to my care. Until you have reached your goal, I will not leave your side. Thank you, Eric. At least they're, uh, more friendly than Eric was with Sarah. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody could be friendly with Sarah, let's be real, though. Uh, Alright. I don't know who Rebecca can, like, support with, but I was hoping she had any supports at all with Ellawood. I've been keeping them paired, to, like, close together for a while now, but... Doesn't seem to be working. I'll have to look it up off screen later. Oh, I think we're good. I, th I think, uh... I think it's- I think uh, all we gotta do is kill them now. I don't think any more reinforcements are coming, thankfully, because we're already at 51 minutes. <laughs> this is going on long. Um, actually, is that everyone topped off? Yeah, okay, so I don't have to worry about that side at all now. Alright, so Hector... okay, yeah. Well, I will move you here for the heal. I'll give Loan a heal. I wonder if I'll end up even using Loan. I mean, he's more tanky than Tissane and Kent were. I like that he's tankier. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just use all the Cavaliers for different purposes or something. Uh. I'm gonna move you here, just in case. You never know. Uh, alright. Alright, let's draw the boss in. <laughs> I saw that damage! <laughs> you know it's better as one of me. No matter how hard I try, you two garnered all the attention, all the praise. In the classroom, on the training grounds, everywhere and everything. Eric. You always did care more about appearances than ability. If you had even a hint of skill, perhaps you'd have... I'll treat you like I'll be no more, no more. One. Holy shit, 25. Get wrecked! Oh, I didn't outspeed. That's fine, that means we could give the kill to someone else. Like Rebecca. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. The one use. Well, since the truth throne of Lysia. It's my last. No, taste my bottle, bitch! Bah! Don't hand me, I'm no one's prisoner! Ah! I like that it says unhand me, I'm no one's prisoner, as if we're capturing him rather than killing him. Yes! More str- Oh my god, Rebecca! That's such a good level up! Rebecca! Rebecca's gonna be so good! Oh my god, Rebecca's gonna be so good! She's so glass cannon, though. Oh my god, that's so good. Yes! Coming through. Ever since that chapter where we got her, she got the turn one crit. Coming through. Alright, so there's just this one guy. Oh, there's a fucking... There's a duder up there, too. Well. Um, well. Maybe I could give that... Maybe I could give these last two to Lowen. Let's see. I'll heal up Rebecca. And then move low up to tank. Maybe. That guy can reach. Oh no, he can't. He can reach up to the top. Oh well. Alright. I'll just send Hector here and I'll move Elowood here to continue trying to build support, maybe. Put low in there. Move Marcus down. Well, actually, I'll keep Marcus there as a shield. Um, build support with Priscilla. Alright. All right, that's fine. Let's end the turn. We'll see what Lowen can do. Fuck, I forgot to switch weapons. Oh well. I wonder how much Rebecca can deal to him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, she can kill him from this range! <laughs> what about Urk? Ooh, actually, 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 actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 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 
I'm gonna do this. Bop. All right, so. Go ahead and heal Hector. Whatever, I'll just use a sword. Boom, get out of here, get out of dodge, get out of dodge. All right, all right. This chapter's taken a lot longer than I thought it would, main reel. I guess you could carry that horse slayer since you can use it. Uh. Oh yeah, why am I not building up supports with them over there? Damn it! Wasting my time! Wasting my time! Wasting my time! Move you over here just in case, you never know. So much for Lindus's Legion. Elowood's Legion. We're doing great. And we have had zero casualties. Come on, Eric. Get up. You peasants. You can't treat a proper noble like this. It's too late for your niceties. Be thankful that you're still breathing. Eric, you must tell me, where is your father? We've searched the entire castle and there's no one here. D don't be ridiculous. My father was not abandoned. No, no, he never. Ephidel. Ephidel, who's that? Speak, you cur. Do you want to die here? Ah! Hector. Eric, please. You must tell us everything you know. I... I just want to know where my father is. Ephidel. He appeared at the castle one year ago. He came and... My father changed. Ostia's position had always bothered my father. He felt last deserved to rule all of Lycia. But he'd never gone so far as to speak of rebellion. Did you say rebellion? Ephidel had something. With it, he convinced my father to set this plan in motion. My father then sent envoys to several other Marquesses. Marques Ferrey had approved of the idea. What? Never. My father would never agree to such a thing. Believe or disbelieve, that is your choice. First was Marcus Santa Rose, then Marcus Frey's reply arrived. Marcus Frey visited here six months ago to seal his approval. That's not possible. My father and yours argued vehemently that day. Marcus Frey always distrusted Aphrodel. He tried to convince my father to send Ephidel and the Black Fang assassins out of Lysia. My father would not be persuaded. Marcus Frey left the castle. As you know, he then disappeared. I doubt he's still alive. No. Shut your mouth! Oh, sorry. No! 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 <laughs> Elowood said he wanted to hear everything. My father is but Ephidel's puppet. I'll listen to anything that villain says. Even watch his own son die. Those are the sort of people you're dealing with. Guess Frey has betrayed them. I would not let him live. <laughs> uh. Wait, Ellawood. Ellawood. My father is alive. And. I cannot believe his supports. Rebellion. There must be. There has to be a reason. I know. I don't believe any of this for an instant. My brother trusted Marques Frey more than anyone. 
First, we'll find your father and discover the truth. We'll talk to my brother after that. Hector, I'm sorry. Don't look like that. Your father is surely alive, right? Y yes, of course. Marquez Laos, Black Fang Assassins. Now this mysterious Aphidel? We'll find them all and prove my father's innocence. Oh shit! I guess that's that, you guys. I guess that's that. Woo! Chapter 15, Noble Lady of Kaelin. Wonder who that is. Alright, guys. That went for over an hour. Holy shit. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut it down a little bit. If... If you guys enjoyed this episode here of Fire Emblem 7, make sure to show your support by smashing the shit out of that like button, maybe leaving a comment, or hitting that subscribe thing in bobber, or ringing the bell if you're already done so. I'm gonna check out now. Next time, we're gonna meet the noble lady of Kaelin, try to prove that Elowit's father is still alive. We're gonna do a lot of shit, we're gonna be doing a lot of shit, and I'm really excited. So, if y'all are excited, make sure to tune back in next time, which will be in two hours <laughs> in two hours from now for you guys in like five minutes from now probably for me <laughs> so i'll see you guys later uh have a good rest of your night and peace out my dudes i love y'all don't forget that later